Praise the Lord. It's Christmas time, 2021. It's time to move and groom, groom to not new plans, not our plans, the plans of our carpenter of the ages who's fully in the restoration mode of Acts 3.21. It says that if, if the restoration doesn't happen of his love and understanding thereof, that he could not even return. It is written clearly that his Elijah would restore all things by his word. I am just a messenger. Don't shoot the messenger, people. But get excited. Get ready. Get passionate. Get ready to run and rumble with love because love has to be stirred up, pressed together, overflowing in order for Christ to save this world through his children who beat their swords into the sickle of his love, unconditional love, as love has always been. It is a fallacy to not have unconditional love and to still even call it love. It is a total backwards. So arise and shine. The light of the star of Bethlehem shines mightily in the heavens. He alone is the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. He is our majesty of majesties, rising in the splendor of his majesties. Oh, praise the Lord for that carpenter, that carpenter of carpenters, for that roaring lion of Zion is roaring louder than ever before and calling each of our name as if we were the only one. And it's time to raise our voices in the unity of the brotherhood of love as the kingdom age begins day by day, because if we choose not to have a kingdom age, we shall be destroyed. We do not have a choice if we are logical and if we are obeying the spirit of love, who is our living Prince of Peace, who has now sent forth his most magnificent preparation of his very own peace from his word. For he says unto all people, I will be your God, you will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity, I shall never remember. I'll write it on the walls of your heart. Beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught in me, says the Lord God. For all shall know me, from the least to the greatest. For all who love are born again. For those who love are born of God and know God, because he is love, First John 4, 7. And those words come forth from the everlasting gospel and must go again to all people, to all tribes, to all nations. Now is the days of Elijah, the days of Shiloh, the days of Joshua, the days of Daniel 12, 13, the latter day Daniel. All the same guy, water, steam, and ice. Um, when, when Jesus called Elijah Shiloh, the first Elijah had not even come. Praise the Lord, it's time to get into the new understanding of the kingdom age that is only found here at this channel alone. This is the only kingdom age uh, place that you're going to find on the internet right here, Daniel Ausa, the latter day Daniel and I. I am the strong and, and mighty one of Isaiah 28, the writer, line by line, precept by precept, would it come forth. Moses said one like him would come and that if uh, people do, would not obey, that uh, only death would await. The writer of the fine scroll, the writer of the everlasting gospel, Revelation 14, Zechariah 5, the writer that was foretold Habakkuk 2, the writer uh, it written it plainly on the tablet so all those that read it that may run, and I've been reading it for you. That's why I've got 2,500 uh, videos in one year, people. It's, it's uh, exponential growth in a very short time because I love and I want to share Christ's love and I'm already as greedy as hell and I can never be satisfied as I embrace all people of the earth unto myself even though for our risen good shepherd over all men, uh, Jesus Christ Almighty, the risen Lamb of God. And for that cause, I am one whose eyes are red and dull and Wine, Shiloh, Genesis 49, 12. I am the bringer of the vision of God, Chrislam, the name for Israel, now that they have received their kingdom age, new uh, covenant. So that God is now the God of all families of Israel, Jeremiah 31, 1. But I'm only being ignored as Isaiah 41 uh, says of Israel unto me. And everything I've done so far has just been in vain. But praise the Lord, days of prosperity 
uh, and days of God's favor shall be upon this ministry as people stop ignoring the only way that we can move ahead as a society. Uh, I am the Viceroy of uh, St. Uh, uh, Francis, Pope Francis, and praise God, let's move together and groove with new things. So praise the Lord, love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our living Prince of Peace, who now sends forth the perfect preparation of his peace, his kingdom age covenant written for all, making all faith obsolete, exactly as it is written in Hebrews 8, where uh, Paul said that when that covenant comes, that is what would happen. Muhammad said the same. He said that the day was coming when his people would belong to another because of a book coming that proves God's mercy that gets rid of all distortions. And he knew that book was behind him. That's why he said there would never be another prophet ahead of any importance. And he was correct. And so praise the Lord that um, he said that there would be nothing left of the Quran except its outward form when God proves his mercy. And he is right now at this mountain uh, channel of Isaiah uh, 2 and Micah 4, the mountain where all shame and guilt shall be removed from all mankind, Isaiah 25. For this is the mountain of God's forgiveness, where God says, I will never remember your iniquity. So, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' mighty name, I thank you, O Lord Jehovah Nisi. You are the banner of truth over us, that there would be an end time Daniel, that there would be an end time writer, that there would be a, a message of yours promised to Israel in the latter days, Jeremiah 31, and your message that you are true and that your word is tearing down all kingdoms of faith with your permission and your blessing so that the one un unity of mankind can come. And for your eye is awake and watches over our souls. You rescue us from the jealousy of liars, from the congregation of lazy bums and spiritually loveless souls who are always seeking the smooth way. Rescue your faithful few, following in your footsteps of peace that transcends all imagination. And just as love, it has its own way. For love unconditionally wants only to be unconditional love for all who will unconditionally want that. So you save the souls of the poor whom they plan to destroy. Uh, the demonic has had no victory because before the foundation of the earth you spilled the blood of your servant of the ages who you are. And I walk because of you. And you walk because of us. And they laughed at you. They shamed you with lies from their mouth. But you, O oh Lord, are the judges of judges. And hero of heroes, our majesty of majesties, who has helped the souls of the weak and the poor, along with those living needlessly for the fear of uh, accursed things happening around us, like uh, COVID, the trial of all flesh that has come to bring God's word of patience. He's turning on the lights because his word of patience has come to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change. So let the alarm ring, let the jubilee of jubilees begin. The climax of the ages has come. For you have saved us from a world of harsh, unloving arms, if only those in the gross darkness, the terrors will come out of the darkness and enjoy the sunshine of the rising sun of love, the sun of peace, the sun of mercy, with healing in your wings for all who will leave the gross darkness, because the wheat that I call cannot remain in the darkness, for the terrors alone exist, just exist therein. But prosperity is with me. Come out to the deep. Leave the safety of the shore. Jesus is the priceless pearl of uh, great reward, the treasure of excellence and the excellence of treasure. The tide of blessedness is with us and uh, the fullness of, of his new knowledge of his kingdom age love has dawned. Amos 9 has now been fulfilled for it in ripping the veil between 
the mystery of God of Revelation 10:7. When the seventh trumpet sounded first, all nations have become the Lord, and they have become because they have always been. And you redeem, redeemed us all. Admits much taunting mockery of the religious people. You've helped us not to fear destruction from those who are wicked. Uh, they've made our lives the faithful few of love walking in peace. They've made our lives a ship on the deep sea, like fortified cities that are being circled by aggressors. I, Daniel of Windsor, Ontario, one from the north, the messenger of the Lord's new kingdom age covenant of Jeremiah 31 to 33 to 34 of the core. I now praise you, our beloved of love. You are the blessed, the beloved, and the adored. And even though I have hurt like a woman in labor at bearing her first child, at the abandonment of the ignorance of darkness, of the ignorance of love, having been ignored here for a year, it doesn't matter because I sing my praises unto you. And I, Daniel, the son of Lois, felt like my mother did um, by people ignoring the everlasting gospel truth uh, with belly pangs of rejection that tortured me just as actual pain tortured my mother while she was in the crucible in the agony of my own birth. Spiritually, I know that I came forth as a man-child in, uh, expected into this world to change the earth with Christ's message of his love uh, transcending all ages, all understandings. Our righteousness has been as nothing uh, but as filthy rags before his transcendent love. Likewise, all of our understandings, right, wrong, good, bad, has never been important. Uh, compared to keeping our love light on and committing not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. So, oh, wondrous Counselor, Emmanuel, our, our, our returning Lord of Lords, you are our Ancient of Days. You have watched your faithful in this messed up world, and you are now sending them hope, as you have been declaring in Isaiah 49, so that people will realize that we have had nothing but desolate heritages because we've only viewed your love as seen through a glass darkly in this this cruel world that has grown ever so crooked that needs the hammer of God to fall again and your word to open again as you said in Matthew 24 22 because unless you cut this world um, timing short by your word anew as Daniel 12 9 foretold because it was only open until the time of the end for your message of Malachi 3 1 the cut from your covenant messenger you are the sender you are the author I am your messenger don't shoot the messenger but people praise the Lord and pass the ammunition because I am the servant of Isaiah 49 the one who would do everything in vain. That was never Jesus. And I am the hidden arrow of Christ as he goes forth on the great white uh, horse uh, of Revelation 6 to conquer uh, the death and uh, plagues and famines and all the garbage of war. Uh, so most happy was my mother uh, in my remembrance to forget the pit of horror for me as she gave uh, herself uh, even for the pain in order to bring me forth and in the same way the Lord has been hurting as a as a, a woman giving birth to the kingdom age if only people will have the ears to hear his truth of love that love only irresistibly wants to irresistibly love and there is no other love is forgiveness forgiveness is love and both are mercy and that, praise the Lord, the wise will come to see that one day everything shall be indestructible by your design. For you alone are the carpenter of the ages. And as a plumb line, your walls are straight. And at your command, O oh love, our hope, uh, so shall all this be. All people shall come out of the prisons. Uh, and uh, uh, there shall be vines over every people and there shall be no more homeless. Money from all over this world shall come and make it like Eden in accordance with Isaiah 60 and 61. 
the Kingdom Age prophecies. Read it for yourself. You can Google people. So nor shall the blind ever fail to see that this manifested message of Malachi 3.1 is the one that will help turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and children to the fathers so this world will not be destroyed by the utter curse of the conditional uh, curse of Malachi, the complete destruction, oblivion of us all, Zephaniah 1.1 1, 1, destroyed the fish, the birds, the man, Isaiah 24, the earth in four pieces, Deuteronomy 18.18, 18, unless one listens to one like uh, Moses uh, and listen to my very first video under my under uh, other channel tell me that it doesn't sound just like Moses but only death awaits if you will not listen and if you will snub Jesus who is saying that uh, uh, no flesh should be saved unless people will listen to his word anew just as it has foretold these are the days of the the great white cloud of Revelation 14. These are the days of the great white cloud of Matthew 24. These are the days when they are both the same cloud as Christ sends forth his everlasting gov uh, governing uh, message of love, his everlasting gospel. For it is revealed that he is the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken his reaper. Amos 9 has fully manifested. So no more should we be like a ships on the face of the bluest living waters uh, and not heading towards prosperous places. For the clouds shall not bellow any more for those believing in the faith of love. And those looking to our rising sun of righteousness shall never be terri terrified by the roar of the stormy waters. For the obedient of love who cast down all fear shall likewise be mariners on the deep. Their wisdom shall be confounded at first uh, by the roaring seas of uh, Corona's curse, COVID, the trial of all flesh that has come to bring uh, God's word of patience. Praise God, praise God, the first is last, the last is first. Satan has been removed, New Jerusalem has been revealed, and all nations have become the Lord, and the mystery of God is over, Revelation 10, 7. And this earth was created with very great age. Adam and Eve were created with very great age. God can make wine or he can make old wine, but he was never an alcoholic. And he never had eyes red and dull of wine, people. That was Shiloh, Genesis 49, 12, who I am. So let the heavens rejoice that the abyss shall no longer boil over the fountains of smooth sailing uh, fountains of uh, waters. Since as the hothead as he was, Satan, he's been now put on ice for the next thousand years because God says, I will be your God. You will be my people. And he had to be removed because he would have made God into a liar, being the accuser of the brethren ever since the book of Job. So uh, as it has been, Daniel 12, 1 has happened. The first is last and the last is first. Problem is people put everything in chronological order and they leaned onto their own understanding. Even the Bible warned them not to. And as foretold, hell has opened, and as a left as a leftover curse, Satan does now uh, does not laugh now, but man shall have the last laugh, as hell's eternal bars are now bolted tightly. If he threw one of us in hell for our sins, he would be liar, because his Jesus said, all sin shall be given forgiven, except the unforgivable sin of letting your love light go out. Do not do that then we can all overcome and enter into the fullness of the kingdom age. So praise God, then we can sing, free at last, free at last. Thank God we can be free at last. And with that, I'm going to wind this up. I have grown weary in well-doing. I am Elijah. This world is ignoring me. It was foretold. Isaiah 49, 49 uh, 4, everything I would do is in vain. <laughs> the books that I have written have been in vain. Uh, I've written 4,000 pages of, of 5,000 pages of, of books, like you've seen me flashing in some of my videos. Could not give them away. If anyone wants one, 
armageddon.housley.gmail.com. But this world is deaf, and it's deaf to the only message of Christ's love that will save this earth. I, I, com I command you to smarten up. <laughs> Let your love do the thanking for you. If what I am saying is true, would it bring world peace? And if you answer yes, then shut the fuck up.